Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. This is the glitch I was talking about at the end of last episode. That is insane, it keeps changing. I know, apparently if I go right, it's a piece of building or cement, and then if I go to the left, it's a piece of sand, plus a tree. I don't get it. You know, I had that happen to me in a Wi-Fi battle a few months back. Oh, what was that? Well, I was using a Bastiodon versus Megany, um, or what is it? Oh, no, that's no, when we did that stream a couple of months ago. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, what is it? Ah, I can't think. Bastiodon versus Superior... And, no, no, not Superior. I was Bastiodon versus Rotom Wash. He both switches out, and I have a red card, so he forces a switch out, and I'm, like, at 99 HP. I go for a, what is it called, Metal Burst. He brings in Charizard. He kills it off because of the Stealth Rocks. And I use Metal Burst, and it gives me HP back, and I get 341 HP over 324 HP. I have it saved in my computer. Do you guys want to see it? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we're going to see it eventually. Maybe I'll just put it at the end of this clip and not narrate it over it. Okay, I think we can do that. Yeah, but that, that was back from the clip. stream a couple of months ago. It's pretty crazy. That is insane. I don't know. I've but never seen that happen. Now that I made it to Evergrande City and I did my secret time skip last episode where I finally taught Mugiwara Waterfall because I had to get rid of Dive, I am going to go to Pacific Log Town. Exactly, I'm actually on my way to Pacific Log Town right now and taking on this Gyarados, or Gyarados, I like to say Gyarados. <laughs> I got a Gyarados once I named it Guy. Gyarados. Gyarados, man. Gyarados. Okay, sometimes for the LPs we do, I mispronounce the names of Pokemon because I mispronounce them on purpose in real life, then mispronounce them by accident later in the LP. Like, I do do Gyarados and Pikachu and... Pekka! Pikachu! Pikachu? Pikachu. Yeah, my, my family members always do that. They're like, what you do? I'm like, playing Pokemon. They're like, oh, you got that Pikachu or Pikachu or Pokachu? I'm like, yes. It's it, Pikachu. No one even likes it. And then my dad's like, isn't Pikachu that really awesome one that can kill anything? I'm like, in the anime, maybe not in the real games, Dad. <laughs> I was Wait, how do you know about Pokemon, even? I don't know. Well, actually, if you didn't know, um, you guys won't know this. I don't know if Jacob does, but there is a Pikachu card that actually rides around in a town not too far away from us. A what? Where we live. It's... Pretty crazy. Yeah, there's a guy with a Pikachu car that he's designed himself. It's pretty crazy. It looks crazy. like a Pikachu? Yeah, it has a big tail on it that goes from the uh, the end of the car all the way almost to the windshield. Is it yellow? Yeah, it's it looks just like a Pikachu. It has the face and everything. Uh, is he our age? I don't know. He's an older guy, but it's pretty interesting. Okay, that's weird. I've and never then, heard of that before. I always go to breakfast with my dad, and he's like, I saw the Pikachu car! And I'm like, oh god, dad, no. Don't, don't even talk about it. Exactly, but I'm gonna kill this Seeking because they're terrible Pokemon. Fly out my butt. Yeah, right, you can't kill me. And I'm using Gein on these water routes because he needs some leveling up, and he's actually doing really well against all the water types. Didn't know you could get a critical hit with Flail, but oh well, that Seeking passes away, and we are almost done with water routes, hopefully. I, I really don't want to be in the water routes anymore like we've stated numerous times, or I don't. I was gonna say, what's up with you and saying passing away these past couple episodes? That's like your new word for it. Instead of dying, you're always like, hey, just passed away Passed now. away, <laughs> passed away. I did it for a PMP battle. It's the nice way to say you died. Exactly. I like to say nice ways. I'm a nice guy, Alex. And I'm just like, you freaking died. Deal with it, Sharpedo. Well, he's not dead yet, but he will be dead after this No, turn. he won't. Oh, you just watch. No, he won't. You Come on, crit? gain critical. Oh, never mind. See, you're gonna die. You're the mean one that passes away. No, he's just focused energy. He's kind of an See, idiot. this is what I don't get. They should be up. They should up the AI to make it so difficult where they actually make you pass away. I don't know. Or faint. That's what hacks are for. People hack it to make it that way. Exactly. And Mudshot, I'm a level 38 with Swampert. He's actually one of my lower levels right now, to be honest. And I'm poison fanging everything like usual because, well, poison fang kills things. Wait, why didn't you keep poison fang instead of something different? I don't know, because I wanted both of them on here, because one has the chance to poison, one has the chance to badly poison, just like using Toxic. Um, I guess I could switch them up. They both have the same PP too, I'm pretty sure. I would actually have kept Poison Fang, or do you keep Poison Tail? I don't know. You keep one of the two. And I critical hit, you know, he critical hits me, I think. Actually, no, I critical hit, hit him with Surf. It's a critical hit fest all around. Exactly, it doesn't matter, because I take him out. And I'm still not 38. I should really take the experience share off, Mr. Mawile, because otherwise you can get to, like, level 40 and not even trying to. I know. I'm getting lost here. I'm pretty much just trying to battle all the trainers for experience. Um, I don't know. It'll be pretty cool because I will be a high level by the Elite Four. Not really. I'm probably still going to be very underleveled. Oh no. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe you'll have to grind. Yeah, I can probably grind for a while. I'll probably do that before Victory Road and then actually take on Victory Road. Actually, that's the plan. I'm going to grind up a little bit. It's decided. You have to. 
I know, otherwise there's no way I'll ever survive. Yeah, because they're probably... They, some people could be like, you can't be Delete 4 without setting up, man. Alright, you know, I want to know what my sad dream is? My dream is to walk through Victory Road and actually have my repels work. <laughs> yeah. That is my dream. <laughs> That's not going to happen, especially for me. I know, hopefully it works for me. If I train up, it will. Exactly, that's why we're taking on these water routes right now, just to kill some time, because I don't want to go into victory road right now. I yeah, you need it. some level up too, and I thought I wasn't going to get paralyzed, because that thing has some pretty low HP, but I do. I'm the last move it gets to make, actually second to last move, but I thought that I wasn't going to get paralyzed. And waterfall, I'm using water type moves on water Pokemon right now to kill them off, or take them pass away I should say. Exactly. And I am going to still stay in against this, or I'm probably going to switch out to Ivankov just because I don't want to be paralyzed. The return! But, holy crap, I'm in torrent range, and look how much surfed into a Pelipper. That's pretty crazy. But, uh, does Pelipper take neutral damage? I think, no. Yeah, no, it just no, takes... It's not water flying. Water. It's, it's ineffective, and I just decimate it. Okay, and he's going for protect. I don't understand. When they're this low on HP, why do they even bother? They're going to die at one exactly, point. Exactly, just a waste of our time. You know what? I want to beat a champion in a game just using struggle. I think I've done that before because I styled them out. Or I no, think when oh, it was us using struggle or them using struggle? Us. Like, just I not use any eithers or elixirs? Yeah. I beat Koga once when I was smaller in, I think it was gold version, because I pretty much taught my Pokemon all five PP moves, and then I only soloed that game, so by the time I got to Koga, I only had 5 PP left, pretty Did much. Did you use Typhlosion for Alligator Meganium? I think it was Typhlosion, something like that. Huh. I don't you're remember. Not, you're not using Typhlosion, because they already used two fire types. But the uh, moral of the story is, I used Struggle and killed Koga, so it was pretty fun. Moral of the story is? No, that's not the moral. The moral is, teach your Pokemon moves <coughs> with higher PP. Yes, are you dying? I'm fine. Jacob, don't pass away on us. I was eating popcorn and it got like stuck in my throat. Okay, not don't during... eat popcorn during Let's Play. No, I wasn't like before and then it just like came down or something. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, and I'm going to switch out again to Ivan Kov because I should have healed after the last battle, but for some reason I didn't. High jump kick another Pelipper. Ah, oh, what are you doing for Shadow Ball? Go for high jump kick. I don't care if it's ineffective. I want to see it die right in that big beak of it. That's a pretty, actually that's a freaking huge beak that Pelipper has. And I'll just put a Shadow Ball down its throat. And... Shadow Ball to the face! Finally to say it again, don't we? Exactly. There we go, and now it's high jump kick to the chrome in this. Oh, high jump kick to the chrome. I still don't understand, but that's okay, you don't have to explain it. It's okay, I get Good it. Good thing I didn't go for high jump kick, because it went for protect. I would've hit myself. Exactly, and Mugiwara and Ivankov are proving to be very useful in these water outs, just because they can, of course, do super effective damage. This close to having a level 40. This close, guys! Is he your first level 40 then? I'm pretty darn sure, and I believe this is actually the last trainer before we make it to Pacific Log Town. I'm thinking it is. And it's a double battle! Yay, yay, yay! No, not really. I don't like double battles either, but I'm sure I've stated that multiple times. I like, um, hmm. Alright, if you could pick double battle, triple battle, or rotation battle. I'd say that triple battle is probably my favorite just because. I know that when I attack a Pokemon and make the decision to attack it, I can actually hit it. Like in rotation, like you think you're going to attack that one, but they rotate it out? Exactly. I just can't stand that because it's so unsure, and I don't like having to rotate my Pokemon in order to hit a different Pokemon. I don't know. Critical hit that Azumarill with high jump kick, grow to level 40, and learn Psy Psy or Psych Up, which basically, if somebody tries to set up Dragon Dance, you use Psych Up, you'll just copy them. Exactly. I thought you were going to say Psy Shock for a moment. And no, I was that's like, fifth gen, man. That's that, fifth gen. That's not invented yet. You know what I saw, though, a couple months ago and back in one of our streams? What? Somebody used a Regigigas against me that had Swagger, and you know how it gets slow start, where its attack is and speed's cut by 50%? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Somebody used Psych Up after they used Swagger, and I hit myself like five times in a row. I remember that stream. I think that's the same one we were talking about last episode, too. Or was it this episode? I don't remember. I don't it was remember. One of the I forget. I forget all the times we talked about Water routes just seem like one long episode. Really. Yeah, exactly. And something about the Hoenn region, there's a story, but a little kid, I don't even remember. Uh, six dots, three doors. Hmm. hmm. Story in the underground chambers by Pacific hmm, That sounds like a legend to me. Maybe something legendary would be behind We'll do that this. in the after game, though. Exactly. There's, there's actually legendary some about legendary it. Pokemon you can get. And a bunch of Azur Azurils, it looks like, in a Pokemon fair fan club in, like, what town is that in again? I think it's in, uh, Slateport City. Slateport City, yep, you're right. Okay, actually, that's the fan club president's younger brother, I'm pretty sure. Is it really? Yeah, he just said something about a younger brother, so I figured. 
Is that a Pokedex? Did you get me to a lot of different Pokemon? Yes, I did. You wish I were like me? I don't want to be like you. It's actually cool because you're a girl, so you can be the role model, kind of. I don't know. And this lady actually wants you to trade her a Blossom for a Corsola. That's, 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 there's not even whole in Pokemon in there. Why would you want to do that? Because Blossom easily knocks out Corsola every time. I don't know why you want a Corsola in the first place. I mean, those things are They need an evolution. Terrible. Mega Sola. No, no okay. stop it about the Mega Cross, Mega Coal, Pinshear, even hey, though that's that not Mega. mega it. Doesn't matter, Mega Sola. I don't know. if I... Mega Soul. Mega Soul. <sighs> That no, sounds like a soul. shoe. That sounds like a shoe Pokemon. Mega Soul. <laughs> no, if I could evolve Absol though, I name it X Sol. I don't know, and I put a big X for its horn. Sometimes I Alex. I don't know. Sometimes Alex, I don't get it. I'll design them and put them on DB. Dude, though. no, no, I don't even want to see Absol's evolution. It's got base one one twenty five attack as an Absol. How can it improve? Base one thirty attack. That wouldn't be worth it. What is it gonna get like? Unless it gets like 30 more speed, it's not worth it to have all of it. And defense, I don't like know. 30 base everything except for goes goes up five attack only. Or maybe 20 attack. And I actually critical hit that Gyarados there, and I think it would have been a one hit KO anyway. But I'm just proud of Ivankov. But if it got base 30 and everything but attack, that thing would be uber or even legendary because it'd have like it'd be have like 100 HP base 100 HP base 130 attack like base 100 everything. That'd that be thing pretty would be good. so. That'd be that's that's legendary Uber uh, stats right there, man. That's right. Whoa, guys! Whoa, guys! I got this. Don't worry, I got this. The Charizard's gonna come in. It's gonna die from the Stealth Rocks. It's Charizard. It can't take Rock move very well at all. Anyways, I got this. My John Wall has this. He has this. Bastion is gonna go for that Metal Burst. That's right, because the Red Card is the best item in the game, and I'm gonna get HP back. That's how you play Pokemon, guys. Have a great day. I love you.